The summer tradition rolls on here in San Bernardino, California. The Northwest Regional from moving on. This map will show you where our Northwest teams are on these players. The, the, you've got the shin guards, the elbow pads, the knee pads, the eye black. As a great slide and catch from Johnson in center field. For Hands to get on this field. All third strike by home plate umpire Jason Aki. Now three and two, the count to Hudson Wall. Brush back and a runner aboard here with two outs in the top of the first. First and in the outs field, Deucen, Johnson, and Dean left to right. And a strikeout says Gilling, I don't need any defense behind me. That's pretty darn good. One of the greatest to ever do it. 0-2 pitch right back up the middle for a base hit. Kale Miranda. And now the year that they're eligible for the Little League World Series, third time's a charm. Opposite way for Gilling and a base hit. Beats the throw from the right fielder Tamura. And in that win against Alaska, but they scored six runs. Come on! Opposite way, a little looper in front of the left fielder Dusan. And all of a sudden, the bases are loaded. KP. Go, 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 go! Goes to it again. And a good play. Heads up defense hey, by like Wesley at short to get the force out at home. And there to get back in the count. Go, go, go! Ground ball to the left side. Hey, hey, off hey, the hey, heel hey. of Wesley. And Oregon strikes first. Third baseman for Oregon. Tag, 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 Lifts that tag. one into right center field. Greason has it for the second out. The relay throw to third, not in time. Come on, Porter. Porter Drive Cole. To right. Let's go. Down in the count. Looking to add to this Oregon lead. Offense coming out hot. Again, it's Wesley at short. This time makes the play. Had a few balls his way. Ends it, but Oregon. Gilling on the mound for Ben North. Oregon had two strikeouts in the top of the first. But issues the walk here to the leadoff batter, Wahlberg, in the second. Sometimes it just takes one game to get some experience under your belt. Feel comfortable on this big stage as... Recent base hit through the infield. And the first two batters aboard here. Tamora into center field. Coming in, but off the glove. Johnson lost it in the sun. Johnson, who was so good on the mound yesterday. The Alaska, they said, what would you do if you won the lottery? He said, I'm only 12, I can't gamble. Very straightforward <laughs> answer. Schaefer down on strikes. Third strike out of the car. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Micah Gilling. And he'd like to get out of this bases loaded conundrum without at first. First pitch swinging into center field and Johnson has a drop in front of him. And two runs score for Idaho to tie the ball game here in the top of the second. A put in play, you got a chance for good things to happen. And a good route right there by Chase Johnson. Already made one slide in play. This time just, just misses making the second. Off the glove, falls with two outs, base runners moving. Wahlberg scores, Hudson Greason scores, and Idaho's tied it at two. And that'll bring up last name's Dial. Your nickname's got to be Soap. Dial over the head of the shortstop, Miranda. Runners will move up the base and stop there. The bases are loaded again for Idaho. Here's Devin Moe. Final batter in the order for <laughs> Idaho. That ball squeaks past Cole behind the dish. And Idaho has their first lead of the game. Wild pitch. Go, 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 Runners go, go, go. at second and third now for Devin Moe. Backhand by Montgomery. Oh, Cross the diamond. He got him. Good throw by Montgomery to end the inning. 
But three hits and three runs for the West Valley Little League. And Brent Schopaker back up onto the hill. Tyler Grigo leading things off for Oregon. And a great backhand by Wesley, but lost it on the transfer. Excellent job just to keep it in the in face fan, says his favorite player is Manny Machado. Makes the 2-2 here on the ground to the right side. Bobbled by Hartnett, not enough time to get it over to first. Oh, it is! Base for umpire Heath Messenger. And, and you know what's tough is Flegel, his foot came down on the back side of the bag. I still think he might have beaten out the throw, but not as clearly as it seemed like in real time. And he is safe. Breaking ball, and it's a good one. Schopaker gets the strikeout for out number one. Here's the 3 1. Line drive, center field, and a base hit for Walker Dean. Sliding in safely to third is Grigo. He kind of tripped. Go hard on the ground. Got to go hard on the ground. Read it, read it, read it. Lifts read one it. into shallow Jensen, center field. Jensen, Coming in to make the grab is Greason with the backhand. And tagging at third and scoring Tyler Grigo. And your brothers play baseball. Frozen lemonades, those things help. Ground ball through the five hole of Schaefer in the center field. Everybody's safe, and the base is loaded once again for Oregon here in the bottom of the second. Hit the ball too hard. <laughs> Ground ball to the third baseman, Reed. Good throw. Across to Wall at first. The strand, the bases loaded, but not before Or Reed popped out to the center fielder. In his first at bat and pops out to the shortstop in his second at bat. Which you don't see at this level too often. But he can bring power from both sides. He batted from the right side in the first inning, and he gets a hit from the left side oh here in the second. He can move to it right hey. there. One. Yeah, yeah, that, that plays a little Randy Johnson maybe at some point. Ah, oh boy! Check swing. <laughs> no appeal. So a walk. Hey. Goes back to the off-speed stuff, does Micah Gilling. Three-pitch strikeout, his fifth of the game. That's kind of nice. That's smart. Down in the count, 0-2. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to get out of the inning. Micah Gilling has six Ks on the day. Scored. Goes up the middle, through the infield. New center fielder Hudson Wall fields it, but a base hit for Chase Johnson. Today you can still come back through and advance. Rivero into center field, charging to make the play is Wall, and there's one down. Martindale on the ground, high Good hopper foot. to Schopaker, well handled, took a step back KP to field that one. I've done so many games with Eddie Perez, hey, and one of the hit. things he talks about is ball in the dirt, charge, former Royal, now with the White Sox. Lifts that one into left field, dealing with the shadows it is Wahlberg. No problem out there for out number three. No yeah, yeah, yeah. And Three straight strikes from Micah Gilling. Seven punch outs. On the afternoon, we talked about Matt Gillen is, is the, the three run second inning for Idaho. Hi, boy. Uh, draws a four pitch walk here with one out in the fourth. You want your uh, there we go. There's the sign she was holding up earlier. Big smile from yes, Parker. Yes. Take a turn. That one makes it to the backstop. Some more up to second base now. 
Hey, don't got to run on the ground this way, right? Leaf on the mound for Idaho. Yes, yes, yes! That one kicks take away look, from look, Porter Cole. And Tamora now 60 feet away. We talked earlier, Porter Cole behind. Two tried to backhand it. If you glove it cleanly, it works. If you don't, shoots off to the side like it did, but Micah Gillen comes back and pumps another fastball in there. Eight, Eight strikeout strike. for Gillen, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Wild pitch. Here comes Tamora. And Idaho retakes the lead four to three. Here's the three two to Schopaker. Through the infield on the right side for a base hit. Our boy Brent. What are you ducking for? Here's the two two. Off the nub of the bat, Gilling. Flips it over to Cravero to end the inning. But Parker Tamora draws the walk. Actually, but I'm a, I'm a few pages behind right now. <laughs> you got to print them out on two pages. There's so many of them. Cole into right field. Diving effort by Dial, who just came in defensively in right field. There's some of the Cole family. Hello, Coles. Ground ball from Grigo. Cut off by the third baseman, Reed, flips on the second for out number one. More moving forward, but the first one that I've seen on these Little League questionnaires. Swing and a miss. Schaefer gets the strikeout for out number two. West region, Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. Axel Stevens. To center field as Wall comes over to make the Good running job. catch Good job. and end the inning. Now the 3 1. Our boy. And it's a walk to lead off the fifth inning for Idaho. Out there. Chase Johnson, who started in the win against Alaska yes, yes. in the opening round, was the only pitcher of the three that was ineligible to pitch today. Yes. Flagel throws one by Porter. Former Oregon State star now has been so good for the Orioles at the big league level. Yes, yes, yes. Up, up, up. Dial moves over to third. Hey, watch. Watch. He likes Rushman KP, but he says. Infield creeping in. 3 2 pitch. Just misses off the outside corner. And now runners at the corners, back to back. 4-3 lead here in the top of the fifth. Nobody out. Big nope. throw as they allow Devin Moe hey, Ty. Right here, bud. to take right here. second base. Yes, yes, yes. Wild pitch. Ethan Easy. Dial will score Easy. easily. I don't, did he touch home play, KP? He's out. Ethan Dial missed home plate. That's the plate. Yeah. Wow, I look down. That's a heads up play by the, by the Oregon defense. I couldn't tell if... The back of his foot clip the base or not. Take another look. Oh, it's so close. It's not clear from there, but that's pretty heads up right there. I don't know if they saw it from the bench or if that's Jensen Flagel, the pitcher. Yeah, it was that, that last angle we saw from and here's the ruling. Oh, he's out. Wow, call stands. That's been an issue for the Oregon pitching staff. Strike three called. Flagel battles back from a 3-0 count to get the strikeout. That is good work. That's a good little fastball from... Got the strikeout of Reed when it was a 3-0 count. And they're going to elect to walk. Braden Lausma 
on the 3-1 count. KP, you like that? Try to avoid the wild pitch. Don't let the runs, or excuse me, at first, mow the runner at third. No throw down right. as Lausma takes Let's second. Go. Come on. Oregon looking to add to their lead here. Swing and a miss, and Jensen Flagel pulls a rabbit out of his hat. Oregon can capitalize on the good fortune they had in the top half of this inning. First pitch swinging Walker Dean grounds out. And Kellen Schaefer's done really good. Own Jessica Mendoza. Chopper. Schaefer on the short hop, fielding his position. Double, double. 45 pitches now. It's thrown more pitches than Schopaker did. Line drive, base hit in the left center field. Hey, up the middle. So hey, runner the on middle. with two outs as Kell waits on the breaking ball. Reed. Sharp throw, but Gilling beats it. First base umpire Heath Messenger said Wesley, the first baseman's foot came off the bag. See if that gets changed as the day goes on. Right back to Schaefer, who records all three outs with his glove here in the fifth. How about Schaefer, KP? <laughs> He's feeling the man. He's going up the soul. stairs, too. Tough play for Montgomery, who makes it look easy over there at third. Now Maddox Wahlberg swings at the first pitch he sees. Porter Cole throws off the mask and makes the catch. That a boy. Get that. And he walked him. And it looks like they'll keep rolling with them right here. Try to. See if Flago can get him out of it. Breaking ball right there. And I think it just clipped Parker to Murray. So two quick outs and a walk and a hit batsman. Idaho's got two. Quickly, Flagel delivers, and it's a base hit stay, 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 in the stay, stay, center stay, 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 field stay. for Schaefer. Base, base. Back for a strikeout. We'll see what he does here. The base is loaded in a 2 2 count. Yes, 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 yes. Pitch gets past Porter Cole, you. and a run will Hudson score. Cole. Hudson Greason slides in to make it 5-3 Idaho. I'm just still mad. 3-2 count to Schaupiker. Go, go. Fly ball, shallow center field. Chase Johnson has it easily, job, yeah. and that ends the inning. So Oregon now trails by. Since he's come in, that's been a big He is deal. not. A little half swing there from Cravero. Oh, and the first baseman, Owen Wesley, drops the ball. Wow. Well, you just need base run. In the dirt. Rivero on to second. Second right doesn't mean anything at this point. No, not at this point. But this runner does. Four pitch walk. Ashton Martindale. Read it, One two. Read it. Popped in the center field. Coming in his wall. Runners forced to stay put. And there's one down. Left thumb behind the plate defensively earlier in the game. Ground ball. Force out at second, throw to first, not in time. So the inning will continue with runners at first and third, but now with two. Tyler Grigo represents what would be the game winning run. In the dirt, ball four. Hey, 70%. The 1-0 to Flagel. Go, 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 go. Chopping ground ball. Schaefer throws it home to end the game. 
Kellen Schaefer was as good playing defense at the pitching spot as he was delivering strikes in relief for the Idaho team as they advance to the Northwest Region Championship game with a 5-3 win over Oregon. Pretty impressive to hold on right there. And for Kellen Schaefer came out. Out of the bullpen, ended up finishing this thing off for Idaho just twice in the history of the Little League World Series. Has there been a 